Then I cooking video is just not working out. I've been doing this thing for about three years almost, and I haven't even reached a thousand subscribers. So I'm gonna switch gears and make content that actually gets views. YouTube commentaries. <clears throat> hey everyone, how's it going? It's YouTube's most famous malignant tumor, Branchy. You know, my computer's been acting slower than Greta Thunberg, so I decided to go on YouTube and see what I can do to speed it up. But then I came across this pile of freaking elephant diarrhea. We have built a lot of gaming focused systems in our time and a gaming PC can act as a very competent video editing workstation. Damn right. So, so why are you even making this video? It's so pointless. If you don't care about gaming, there are ways that you can change your configuration to both save money and improve performance. And also, what's with his voice? Was he kicked in the nut and never recovered? Also, do you really want to take computer advice from someone who takes selfies like this? So yeah, I was pretty pissed off after that. So I decided to watch a recipe video to cheer myself up. But this next guy happens to be even worse. To show you how cancerous and cringy he is, I'm just going to show you the very first five seconds of his video. Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com. <sighs> okay, first off, how cheap is this guy? He's using the pre-installed music from Final Cut Pro. <laughs> but wait, it gets even worse. Queso dip. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to make a cheese dip that's better looking, better for you, and way, way better tasting than anything you're gonna get at the store. Are you serious? You want me to make my own queso dip when I can clearly go to the store and get some? So clearly I'm getting super pissed off at this point. So I decided, you know what? I need to calm down, maybe a nice vacation. So I looked up travel guide videos on YouTube and this one has to be like the worst I've ever seen in my life. Yes, the wounds are fresh. And yes, the wounds are deep, but Beirut is not defined by its scars and nor should it be. So yes, I will admit I was scared when I first came here, but I'm also happy to admit I was wrong. Does this guy have like hardcore autism or something? You're encouraging people to go to one of the most dangerous, politically unstable countries in the world. So stow whatever preconceived notions you had. This isn't some desolate, war-ravaged corner of the globe. This is paradise. No, it isn't! Uh, I don't know about you, but paradise doesn't look like this. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Oh, and uh, as always, please don't send any hate to these guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Let's see if we can reach 300,000 likes. Huh. You know, I thought ranting about three different YouTubers would get this video past 10 minutes. Oh well, only one thing I can do.